understand you, your work with the company, the socializers. Can you please um, maybe explain to us what it is that you do? The socializers is an organization whose founders, including myself, are highly connected socially mm -hmm. um, and have great networks of people. And so what we've done is we've accessed these relationships and provided to those individuals or to those organizations fulfillment mm -hmm. of social media work. So in other words, very simple things like doing Facebook campaigns, mm -hmm. uh, Twitter campaigns, combined traditional social blended campaigns. A blended campaign is taking above the line work like TV and print mm -hmm. and enhancing it with social, social media, media properties and growing and following the social media property or reputation management if that needs to be done too. Lots of things that you do. So what we've done over the last uh, nine months is we've accessed the Balkans specifically through our relationships there and that's been an exciting time. So I understand you're introducing social media marketing and business solutions into a region where awareness is present but relatively low. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about how this is going for you? Sure. So what we've done is we've moved into the Balkans arena mm -hmm. and, and that theater of business. Uh, it was actually a social uh, entrance. I was in the United States working in Las Vegas and Hollywood on some social media marketing campaigns there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I decided to come over to Europe to work in the Balkans for a variety of reasons and used LinkedIn to identify the major players in ad and marketing and social media over here, in, over there rather in Athens. Contacted those people, set up appointments mm -hmm. last summer, mm -hmm. came over, and then began to have meetings with them. We talked about what was happening in the competitive landscape, mm -hmm. what kind of companies were already trying out social media campaigns, and then also what kind of companies would be prospects or possible uh, customers. And so what we've done then since last August mm -hmm. is actually begun some pretty exciting campaigns with multinationals over there. Okay, okay, that's very good. <laughs> Um, all right, which brings me to my second question. There are many countries where marketing and ad campaigns do not really integrate um, social components. Um, what is, can you maybe identify one method that you can use in terms of penetrating these markets? Sure. So when you are approaching a new market, mm -hmm. uh, a blue ocean as we call it, Mm -hmm. uh, you can study the market through a variety of intelligence tools. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can use tools like Radian 6, which is a social media monitoring tool. Mm -hmm. You can use tools like Tracker, which is a tool for monitoring reputation management. Tools like Compete.com, where you can look at the relative use of different websites and traffic on these websites. And you can use tools, as I said earlier, like LinkedIn to see who the major players are. Mm -hmm. You could research through Facebook the relationships that are in Facebook. Mm -hmm. These are very simple methods to sort of look at who's there and what they're doing. Then, look through your own network, find people to contact, call those people, mm -hmm. relationship networking basically. And when you move into the arena, make the phone calls, set up the meetings, hold the appointments on time, present your presentations. Presenting presentations is fairly straightforward in terms of putting together PowerPoints with strategies and tactics, ideas for campaigns. If these ideas are enhancements to existing initiatives that are already happening, so existing marketing advertising campaigns that people are running, it's seen as a benefit. This can only fan the flames of an existing campaign, an existing initiative in a business. So it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you come into a country, say like Greece, like mm -hmm. where we are, mm -hmm. where there's less advertising budgets, mm -hmm. the advertising budgets dropped 40 to 60% in Greece for this year. So wow. the money that was being spent on TV is no longer there. Mm -hmm. These companies are looking for options to access their audience. Mm -hmm. And actually the web and social is a large audience. Yes. So there's 2.3 million people in Greece on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome opportunity for these companies to market themselves, to do ad campaigns in that sort of thing. What is the future of consulting and educating staff um, in branch offices of marketing and ad organizations? There's a lot of ways you can do it. So 
major organizations, major ad and marketing organizations already have some templates mm -hmm. from more developed and mature markets that they can pass on to their staff. And in terms of being an independent consultant coming into, as I said, a blue ocean environment, mm -hmm. what I would suggest is developing uh, materials that are accessible in terms of being understandable, okay? So there's already a lot on the internet. There's already a lot of resources. And what we want to do is condense those into a package that's really clear, okay? Mm -hmm. So for example, when you first come into a country where the advertising companies and the marketing organizations are actually not engaged in social media marketing mm -hmm. or enhancements to existing advertising campaigns and TV and print, mm -hmm. if they're not doing that, then what I suggest as a first step is, after you've made relationships, mm -hmm. is to go into the company, mm -hmm. gather the people around in the room, mm -hmm. and teach them an initial teaching session. This generates interest amongst the staff. We could do this, we could do that. And in that first meeting, what I suggest you do is put up on the board, mm -hmm. make a PowerPoint, make a presentation, mm -hmm. show them how you can enhance existing initiatives. Okay? Mm -hmm. So do your research, find out what they're doing, find out what that ad agency, find out what that marketing organization is working on. Mm -hmm. Many of them put on their website who they work yes. with, okay? And you can research their campaigns. Once you find that out, suggest them sample ideas of how to enhance those campaigns. Show them how using those, using those ideas, using those enhancements, will actually decrease their headaches. Show them how it's uh, a way to um, elevate their business, to bring more business to them, because they will be the most advanced organization using these.